Good morning, SHS, and welcome back. I'm Jaden Gonzalez. And I'm Nick Flores. I'm Phil Flores. And will everybody please rise for a moment of silence. And now Jaden will lead us in the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. You may all be seated. All right, getting things started for us today will be Nick. Yeah, and I hope you guys are having a miraculous Monday as um, we are coming back from a hopefully great weekend. And hopefully um, a win against Lagrania. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see what's happening. <laughs> we'll see what happens It tonight. is Friday. It's game day. It's yes. an official dress yes. over there. So it's different. And to get things started off, uh, a small front arrives sometime today, and the weather will be in the low to mid-90s with a chance of rain. So we are actually hoping that rain does come our way because we are in desperate need of it. I don't know if it's just me, but have the mosquitoes not gotten worse? It was terrible. It's never bad okay, No, no, because now they're going to be so <laughs> bad because you said that. True. True, yeah. true, true. And also, SHS is hosting a Through the Decades homecoming dance on Saturday, October 14th in the cafeteria. There will be a fun photo booth selling photos for $5. Plenty of food and drinks will be provided free of charge. And this event is an incentive for students who have no more than three unexcused absences through October 13th, no more than two D halls assigned, and no ISS and or DAEP placements. So make sure you stay within those parameters if you want to be able to attend that. And in order to attend that, ticket sales are ongoing for $10 per person and $15 at the door. So make sure to get your tickets early if you want to save that five bucks. Out of town guest forms can be picked up in the front office. The forms will need to be brought back by October 6th to the front office to so make sure you get those in. There is also a dress code guideline that will be enforced, so be sure to review the guidelines posted in the hallway cafeteria before you go dress shopping and or suit shopping. So if you want to be able to wear your outfit that I know you picked yourself, make sure that you stay within those so you don't show up the night of and not get let in. Yeah. And on another note, SIN FFA is recycling and please help the endeavor and fill the recycling bins with all your plastic water bottles. We are placing four bins around the campus and we'll be, we will be collecting them every other day or you know, if it gets too fill in one day, then we'll probably collect it that day. Yes. It is as needed. As needed, as so needed. hopefully they're collecting from them quickly because that yeah. would mean that y'all are actually using them, so. And also, the FCA, Fellowship of Christian Athletes, will hold their annual Meet Me at the poll on Wednesday, September 27th at 7.30 a.m. Yeah, so make sure you can get there if you can. And and that is for everybody. Not everyone, not anyone athletes. can join them, just not, not just athletes. Yes, so make sure you're there if you can be. Our spirit dress-up days are as follows. September 28th is Neon Day. October 5th is Pink Out for Breast Cancer Awareness. And then there still are more, but we don't have them listed here. Yes, and speaking of showing our support, Varsity Volleyball travels to Orange Grove Tuesday and West Oso on Friday. So if you guys are available and would love to go support them, please do so and go watch them. Yeah. Staying within the topic of support, Cross Country Varsity travels to the Goliath Invitational this Saturday. So make sure if you see any of our cross country team, congratulate them for A, running cross country, and B, wish them luck and support throughout this season, especially this weekend as they travel to Goliath. And still on the topic of sports, uh, JV and freshman football have a to-be-determined home game Thursday while varsity football travels to Raymondville Friday. Anyways, I do think we have early release on that Friday of Raymondville, so it, this Friday, I believe, yeah, I think we do have early release, am I right or wrong? They've talked about it. They've talked about it, not sure. So hopefully, hopefully yeah. we get to- Crossing our fingers still. Crossing our fingers, we have early release this Friday. Homecoming is rapidly approaching. Our annual homecoming parade is Thursday, October 12th, followed by the burning of the S and the Powder Puff game at 7.30 p.m. at Pirate Bone Crusher Stadium. Tickets are $3 a person. Come and support. We will also have an announcer contest of sorts. Anyone interested in announcing the Powder Puff game is welcome to give us your best announcer voice and let the student body vote. So that is for all grade levels. I know you have to be a junior or senior to participate in the actual Powder Puff game, 
but all the announcers can be from whatever grade level, yeah. so make sure you get and into the are announce they still off. following through with the guy cheerleaders or no? I actually do not have that confirmation yet, but you can get with Miss Handy, or we could probably get with Miss Handy over the weekend and have yeah. that news for you back on Wednesday. So, guys, start stretching if you have to. Today, Philip will be leading the trivia. And Philip, what is it? Since we're still celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month, today's trivia is who was the first Hispanic to be elected to Congress? Mm. Mm, I know who it is. Barack Obama. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Jayden, not, 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 not that, that, was, that was a great guess, Jaden, but no. That was going to be the worst the, guess. The correct, I've ever seen. the correct answer is Joseph Marion Hernandez. It's Hernandez. Be, he became the first Hispanic elected to Congress in 1822. It was Joseph Marion <laughs> Hernandez. So, uh, yeah, was like that was a great one. Was he wasn't even like alive in this time period. That, that was a great I trip. did not know the time period. Uh, and as always, we will end things off with a beautiful, wonderful, fantastic thought of the day. I did. It came from the dome, by the way. Today's thought is to be great, you have to have a completely different mindset from the average person. So, since I came up with it, Nick, you're going to elaborate. Elaborate on that. Last time no, it no, was actually, no, no, actually, no, no, no. Bring go the other way. Philip, elaborate on that. You have to be willing to work harder, I guess. I mean, I don't know what that sets people apart. Out of the ordinary. I don't know what sets I people think, apart. You know, in order to be to have different, no. it, you have to work differently. <laughs> so I think that what it means is if you want abnormal results, you have to have abnormal work values. And but do you want abnormal or good results? Abnormal. Normal is average. But good. What about good? And as always, go Pirates. Go Pirates. <laughs>